I've had a lot of self-reflection and self-talk, just sitting alone in isolation, and I kind of realized that if you don't read comic books, you're kind of lame. Like, you're kind of like a boring person, you feel me? Now, I can understand why some people can escape to, you know, like watching TV or movies or something like that, but, but you know, it's just... You really want to sit there in front of a screen your entire life and not want to read anything? Like, I know that some people, well, no, a lot of people, a majority of people actually d d don't even read books on, like, the regular, but they don't even want to pick up a comic book either. It's weird. It's just weird to me, but speaking of weird, let's just go into the cringe section of Reddit. I don't have friends. I got family. It'd be these types of dudes that I just don't like. Like, you know, I love America and like, because it's like the place that I was born in, but it's just like these types of people that just make it cringe to like America. And obviously I'm just assuming because based off what they're wearing that, you know, like they're wearing like Kevlar vest, you know, some like, um, you know, like some military boots and like some military camo. And it's just, so I just assume that these were like the types of kids in school that were like the ROTC, you know, like uh, whatever, like the military brats or something. Yeah, nah, those were, those, they were straight up weirdos. I'm gonna be honest with you. They look strange, my boy. You look like you play Call of Duty and don't actually want to go out to war. Like, you just sit inside and drink, and just, and just drink Mountain Dew and Doritos all day. Like, you're probably the reason why uh, Modern Warfare 2 sucks. Or, well, no, the game just sucks in general, but whatever. You know, sometimes I'll see a video and it feels just... Okay, but the manager is a better person than me. You know, sometimes I say, okay. too perfect. Like, it has too many of the elements that I would be looking for, and that seems suspicious to me. A lot of times I won't do a video on it because of that. And then other times I'll make a video and I'll push it out into the universe just to see what the universe kicks back. And that's what I did with this. Gotcha. And I thought, yeah. what, what is this? What? Ketchup, it has everything. Karen behavior dialed to 11. The entitlement. Yeah, I, d I, yeah I, d I don't know why you're tripping about having too much ketchup on your burger. I mean, you know, like some places out there in the world, they, uh, they don't have the luxury of having ketchup or a McDonald's. But, nah, man. This, oh, man, there's too much ketchup. Let me just slam it down on the ground. You're a grown adult. You are a grown adult. Stop acting like a child. That, that, that is literally what a child would do if it was throwing a tantrum. What is wrong with you? And the haircut, that vest, and then the person coming out and outing themselves and making a video taking zero responsibility. People found out where I work and they sent the video to my employer. Okay, maybe you shouldn't do that. I'm just saying, cause like when like you put stuff out there like into the world and like and like just people record it and then they put it out on the internet, is why would you go after somebody? Okay, like yeah, like you know, like she probably had like a bad day and probably you know just didn't have any self control at that like uh, in that moment. Why would you go to her job and try to get her fired because of that? Like you're just weird too. Like you you don't help at all. I was then fired from my job. Like, it, you guys are weirdos. Like, you're just making her mental health worse than what it already was. Like, what the you fuck? Like, part of the red flag. For me. I hadn't even seen the original video when I saw this video, where she was. Okay, about. sure. Like, she probably should have taken some some like a kind of bill saying, "Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that was my bad. I was tripping. I'm sorry." Maybe. Like, she had been found okay, sure. Like, fired. you should have done that. It kind of felt like enough time hadn't gone by for that to happen yet. But according to Tammy, that's exactly what happened. Only it's all bullshit. From the original video, to the follow-up video, to her being named Tammy. Though it does rhyme with Sammy, who lives in her van and interviews people. Went ahead and covered up her phone number and email that are on that page, because I feel like she's going to get a lot of unwanted attention. And to be fair, she's not like hiding this really. That's uh, the video, the original Karen video right there and i also want to be clear i don't think there's anything wrong with someone make, making up a character and doing bits on the internet i think that's great i do kind of have a problem with the prank videos thing which this kind of falls under that is say sammy was in on it the camera operator was in on it you're you're actually telling me that 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 was a prank but That was a faked video. That's what he's saying. Um, was that was a fake video. Staff 
in on it. I mean, no presumption of privacy in a public space. That was a but prank. This is a skit bit that you're using them for. Did they know that this was all just a prank? Did you order too much ketchup on the burger and then come in and insult them for being bad at their job? I'm so confused. Like, that was a prank video? What? I got tricked. I, I, bro, I thought that was real. What? I hate when men... Yo, like, she's playing a really good character. Like, she's very... Like, she's playing the character of just a pretty blonde chick. I swear to God. <laughs> Like, that's exactly what she is. Jesus. Like, she did a really good job on that character. If I told you this pasta only has three ingredients. I fucking fart loud as fucking shit get on your walls. Do, do you know what's crazy? Is that there's some guys out there that would still try to wife this up. And would you be one of those guys? You want to see something sad? No. I'm an art teacher, and this is my allotment for art supplies for my classroom for this year. $50. Well, if you are an art teacher in a school, yeah, you would probably need more than $50, to be honest with you, because, I, you know, you feel me? Like, I was one of those kids that was breaking the color pencils all the time. Yeah. 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 2023 year of the rabbit. <laughs> That's a guy. Okay, this is a man. Uh, can we skip this? So, okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna continue that. I'm just not even gonna continue that because that just pissed me off. And and you're and, uh, and you're not not. not <laughs> fighting for that can you get off my screen presses fighting for them as a single parent you're a terrible single parent if you're doing this type of bullshit on tiktok and like just even like putting your kids on tiktok is already strange enough too guys i'm gonna text all 614 of my tenants right now and tell i don't care didn't 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 really ask bro them that they don't have to pay their March rent and see what their reaction. This is gonna roughly cost me about $65,000 in uncollected rents, but let's get it. First, I gotta choose my tenant contact list, total general population, 614 tenants. So like, is this like a landlord just trolling his tenants? Choose the sender, and then my message is gonna be, hey gang, in honor of my birthday month, I'm not charging you March rent, have a great day. Then I come down here and click six, send 614 messages. Sending. Let's get it. All 614 messages were sent from my number. Hey, gang, in honor of my birthday month, and it cost me 25 bucks. Now let's see the reactions. The first tenant happened. It cost you $25 just to send out text messages. Happened to be a Section 8 tenant. His rent portion is only $9. I let him know to enjoy it in good health. A lot of them were just grateful, thanking me, and wishing me a happy birthday. And some were a little bit more bold. This guy asked for April rent as well. And I let him know, you know, the fortune favors the bold. March and April rent free. Don't tell anyone else. So like you actually did that? Okay, well, uh, good for him, I guess. Like, uh, I thought that it was a joke ah! at first. Here's why the gym does not matter. I'm tired of guys. that are like oh you know i'm going to the gym i'm trying to get fit i feel like i have a pretty decent tone i don't need to go to the no gym. you don't i can just grab you by your neck with one hand <laughs> yeah, maybe because you pull up to the gym making less than 10k a month pulling up in your bullshit fucking corolla and i pull up i'm on the flare it's not even a contest dude no one gives a fuck about your muscles most of the guys that go to the gym i'm sorry to tell you this but you're fucking stupid all that pre-workout that you're taking i'm so confused it's just like yo he puts so much emphasis on money and cars just basically trying to look good but then yet you look like a fucking geek my guy if you have all the money get the muscles what are you doing stop talking down on guys with muscles if you already have the money get the muscles my guy then uh, then there is truly no competition for you my guy what are you doing stop stop being what like what are you chatting about that just actually pissed me off I hate, I hate you. We was lit. And then. He was. You, you wouldn't be popping champagne on somebody else's boat? Are you kidding me? You better act like you fucking been here before. Yeah. 
you gotta act like you've been there before, my guy. You like you like you can't be doing that. Let's see what this beta male has. <laughs> Types of people at a school dance. So, like, the normal guy just has a backpack at the school dance, bro? Bro, take this true religion shirt off, bro. <laughs> bro, what do you... <laughs> that was so stupid. All right, let's, let's just see what this chick has to say. So, apparently, it's illegal to sing here in Singapore. So, let's get someone to sing with me. You're blonde. Excuse me? Would you guys sing a song with me? Um, sorry, I don't TikTok. I'm so sorry. He doesn't TikTok. You seem like a fun, fun guy. Would you sing a song with me? What do you mean waddles away? You know what, bro? Like, get off of TikTok, bro. Like, like those people just doing the like, like the uh, public interviews and shit. They they need to be banned or something, like, cause it's annoying. <sighs> I have to do all this reading. All right, bro. This is the last one. Here's to all the women who who reject the idea that equality with men means sameness. I don't want to be like a man or work like a man. I don't want to be the CEO or wear a suit. I just want to make passive income so that I can cherish the gift of motherhood and be hone with my babies okay this woman's passive income is a, is a course on making courses which appears to hardly have ever sold a bit of advice to people out there who are who are who are looking into making money don't take advice from people who are only making money on making courses of how to make money if they like if they don't have any proof of them making money out uh, outside of giving advice to people like you and selling courses and their main source of income is selling the courses do not take their advice but okay like they actually have to make money somewhere else they they actually have to have a successful business uh, in order for you to take them seriously okay please just be careful out there all right do do not get tricked and or duped into buying those courses okay i'll see you in the next video bro Subscribe and like, give me a rumble on rumble. I'll see you in the next video.